we want to compute the matrix exponential e to the power of ta, where matrix A is the two by two matrix with entries one, negative two, negative two, one, and then we're asked to determine the general solution to x prime equals a times x. We begin by determining the eigenvalues and corresponding eigenvectors. If we have two linearly independent eigenvectors, we follow the general procedure outlined below. So again, the first step is to determine the eigenvalues by setting up the equation the determinant of the difference of a and lambda i equals zero, and then solve for lambda. So here we have our setup. Next we simplify. Next we evaluate the two by two determinant, which is equal to one minus lambda times one minus lambda minus negative two times two. Simplifying and factoring, we have a factor of lambda minus three and a factor of lambda plus one, giving us two eigenvalues of lambda sub one equals three and lambda sub two equals negative one. And now we determine the corresponding eigenvectors. Recall we do this by setting up the equation, the difference of a and lambda i times vector v equals a zero vector, and then solve for a vector v. For lambda sub one equals three, here we have the setup. Next we simplify. Notice in this case, both equations are the same. We have negative two v one minus two v two equals zero, indicating v one equals negative v two. So if we let v two equal negative one, notice v one is positive one, and we have the eigenvector v one equals the vector one at negative one. And now we do the same for lambda sub two equals negative one. Again, here's the setup. Next we simplify. Again, we have two equivalent equations where the first equation now is two v one minus two v two equals zero, which indicates v one equals v two. For that v two equal one, we have the second eigenvector v two is the vector one one. Because we have two linearly independent eigenvectors, to find the matrix exponential e to the power of ta, we follow the general procedure outlined here on the right. For step one, we need to write the matrix A in the form of E times D times E inverse, where matrix E is the matrix formed using the eigenvectors as the columns, and matrix D is the diagonal matrix, where along the main diagonal we have the eigenvalues. So for A equals E, D, E inverse, here's the setup. Again, we have matrix A on the left equals matrix E, where the first column is the eigenvector V1, and the second column is the eigenvector V2. And then we have times matrix D, where we have the eigenvalues along the main diagonal. All their entries are zero. And then we have times E inverse. Now that we've completed step one, let's continue on the next slide. Once we have the equation A equals E, D, E inverse, if we take a look at our notes, we exponentiate both sides with the base of E, and then in our lesson we proved that E to the power of E, D, E inverse is equal to E times E to the D times E inverse. This gives us E to the A equals E times E to the D times E inverse. If we include a factor of T, we have our final formula for the matrix exponential E to the power of T A. E to the power of T A is equal to E times the matrix exponential E to the power of T D times E inverse. So going back to our problem, E to the power of T A is equal to matrix E times E to the power of T D is the diagonal matrix where now the entries along the main diagonal are E to the three T and E to the negative T using the eigenvalues. Then we have times E inverse where E inverse is equal to one half times the two by two matrix with entries one, negative one, one, one. Now we multiply. For the next step, I move the one half to the front and then multiply the three matrices. The result is one half times the two by two matrix where the entries are e to the three t plus e to the negative t, negative e to the three t plus e to the negative t, negative e to the three t plus e to the negative t, and e to the three t plus e to the negative t. And then performing the scalar multiplication, we have the matrix exponential e to the power of ta here on the right. And now we're asked to find the general solution to x prime equals a times x. Let's do this on the next slide. Since the exponential is a fundamental matrix solution, the general solution is x equals e to the power of ta times c, where c is a constant vector, which indicates the general solution is x equals, again, the matrix exponential e to the power of ta times the constant vector c1, c2. While this is the general solution, we could eliminate the denominators of two by letting c3 equal two c1 and c4 equal two c2 and write the general solution in the form shown below instead. Either form would be correct 
for the general solution. I hope you found this helpful.